Welcome to the Prop Master's Handbook. Today, we honor the memories of Leonard Nimoy and Anton Yelchin. Materials for this prop include cardboard, two bottle caps, preferably gray, duct tape, electrical tape, rubber furniture pads, adhesive foam dots, barbecue skewers, silver, black, blue, and gold paint, weed cloth, navy blue adhesive foam, a power drill, aluminum tape, super glue, scissors, and a pen or pencil. First, line up your two bottle caps back to back so the surfaces are touching. Drill a hole through the center of the bottle caps using a 7 64th bit. Place the two caps on a barbecue skewer. It may be easier to start them on the pointed side and slide them the length of the skewer. Be sure they're still facing back to back with the insides facing outward in either direction. Position them about an inch from the end. Next, draw and cut out this design six times. On two of the shapes, mark here and cut away the handle. Cut away this section on all six pieces using the first as a stencil for the rest to ensure they're all the same. Cut out three slits in the back of all six templates. Be sure they all align. Place the bottle cap piece from earlier on top of two of the templates with the caps on this side. Cut away the excess of the barbecue skewer. Place the remainder of the skewer here with about half an inch sticking out. Tape the two barbecue skewers in place. Place the other two complete templates on top of the barbecue skewers and tape the whole thing together. Draw three squares, each one inch by one inch, and cut them out. Wrap all three in aluminum tape. Wrap the phaser in electrical tape. Be sure to wrap the slits at the back individually. Wrap the final two templates, the two partial ones, in aluminum tape, again cutting around the slits in the back. Place the two pieces on opposite sides of the phaser, then attach them together around all the sides of the phaser with more aluminum tape. Insert the three squares into the slits at the back of the phaser. And now it's time for paint. The closest color I could identify this as was denim, but denim is still a bit brighter. I mixed bright blue with a drop of black to achieve the color of the phaser. Paint the aluminum blue. Be sure to leave the handle, the end nozzles, and the squares alone. Paint a set of furniture pads silver, remembering to catch the edges. Paint two foam dots gold. Once everything is dry, Place a small furniture pad here. Remember to repeat everything on the other side as well. Place the gold dot here. For extra hold, I gave it a drop of super glue. Place a medium silver furniture pad here. Place a small black furniture pad on top of that one. Cut a strip of aluminum tape as thick as this piece on the phaser. Wrap the foil around the barbecue skewer to thicken the piece. Paint the top of this portion silver. Paint the barbecue skewer and the inside of the nozzle at the front of the phaser silver. Measure the length of this space of the phaser, then draw and cut out this design six times. Make sure the pieces fit in the allotted space. Cut a large silver furniture pad in half and stick the halves together. Repeat this for a second pad. Cut a barbecue skewer into quarters and place two pieces on each side of a middle piece. Duct tape them in place. Place two pieces on top and three below this middle piece. Wrap the entire thing in electrical tape. Cut a piece of weed cloth to one and a half inches by one inch. Paint the piece silver. Paint the edges of the half furniture pad silver as well. Lay the weed cloth on the detachable unit and secure it in place by framing it with electrical tape. Use super glue to attach the half furniture pad pieces beneath the weed cloth. Cut a thin strip of aluminum tape to wrap around the side edge of the detachable unit. Use the main phaser to draw two strips on blue foam as shown. Cut the pieces out and flip them over to draw a second time. Flipping them over is essential because they need to be the reverse direction for opposite sides. Attach the foam pieces to the phaser. If your foam isn't adhesive, use a bit of super glue. 
This next part is optional. You can paint the foam to match the phaser or leave it alone to provide contrast. Place the Type 1 phaser into the Type 2 phaser. And there's your finished phaser. Thanks for joining us on the PropMaster's Handbook. Now I'm off to start my Starfleet training.